Well, very good afternoon to all of you. And today we have two cameras, very different price ranges. However, one of them is much older. So I'm gonna, you know, lift up both cameras and I want you guys to guess which one you think is the older one. So this is the first one. I know we're quite far away. Get a look at these back screens here. We can hear the textures on them. Now we'll move on to the Sony one. That was a Canon. Here's the Sony. Here's the Sony. Pause this video, comment down below which one you think is the new one, which one is the old one. Alright, so, this is a new one, about 3 years old, this is about 8 years old. And this is the Canon Rebel T7, this is the Sony Nex 7. I'm going to show you why I have both of them and why I love using both of them. So starting off with some specs of the Canon Rebel T7. You saw this in one of my YouTube videos of what's in my camera bag and currently I am carrying both of these in my camera bag not a GoPro when I'm doing some photo shoots. So this is a, a digital DSLR so we have a digital single reflex lens, digital single lens reflex something like that. Um, it is digital autofocus auto exposure all of that stuff in a new camera that you always have. The image format is a 223 millimeter by 149 millimeter, and it is using the EF lenses. So we have this EF lens, and my favorite EF lens, which is on it right now, E50 millimeter f1.8. This is my sports wildlife photography lens on a budget. Um, I really like the lens. I picked it up for about $200. Now, again, it is the EF mounts, and we'll move on to the Sony. I have all of my little notes right on here. So this is a full mirrorless camera. Um, and I forgot to mention this is 22 megapixels. This is going to be 24.3 megapixels. So slightly high, probably won't even notice a difference unless you really zoom in into details. So this is a mirrorless sensor. Um, the main difference is obviously this is a mirror in it. So when you're looking through your viewfinder up here your viewfinder is coming i can look through my viewfinder right now it's coming through my lens i can see through my viewfinder um if i were to do that on this mirrorless camera take off my lens cap look through it it's black so you can't use a viewfinder with your camera off on a mirrorless camera just because the mirror in this is uh, actually an analog viewfinder and and here since there is no mirror um you're getting a fully digital viewfinder on that so both of these um can shoot in jpeg and raw which is very nice even though this is an older camera you can still shoot in a raw format and i always want to shoot in raw um we can do videos on both of them i prefer doing videos on here and i'll show you why in a second but I've also done a couple videos on here and I've ended up doing them more on here. So this camera, normally I would be recording YouTube videos on this camera, but I'm using my phone right now. So I do apologize for the lack of quality in this YouTube video. But this camera I use for cinematography. This one I use for photography. I love this camera for cinematography just because of this flip out screen. So when I'm getting that angle of say a soccer game, my screen is super dirty here. When I'm getting that angle of a soccer game, I can hold it here, have this lens flipped out, and I can still get my angle. As opposed to this Rebel T7, it has a solid screen on the back. Now, this screen on the back is plastic, and this one up here is the glass one. Now, I would expect it to be glass because when this came out, it was a very expensive mirrorless camera. Well, I don't want to say very expensive, but for me, you know, chucking $1,500 at a camera is nothing to shy away about. 
So I picked this camera up. I absolutely love it. I used it a ton. Picked up a couple lenses, sold a couple lenses, and I settled with two main lenses. So this is my f3.5, um, 18 millimeter to 10 millimeter, an amazing street camera, an amazing video lens. I use this for street photography all the time, and it is my main video. And then the second more telephoto lens is this 18 millimeter, which is kind of cool, all the way up to a 200 millimeter telephoto lens. I love this lens. It's a great zoom lens. I use it all the time. Um, and it's a really, really fun lens. I use this a lot when I'm doing um, soccer for videography and cinematography when I want to try to quick get that quick zoom um, of a shot or something like that. So moving on to the back to the Rebel T7 and its purposes. This camera, I've really learned. I've really gotten used to it. And I love this camera. If I could only take one camera with me to, do, to shoot photography, it'd be this one. 50 millimeter f1.8 going to a car meet taking this camera going to do street photography taking this camera doing portraits taking this camera this camera is super lightweight i mean the weight difference between these two this one's even though it's a dslr it's lighter than this one just because of the weight of the lens but i love this camera they're honestly kind of similar in weight but this one just feels better in the hand has a bigger grip up here it fits better as opposed to this mirrorless being so thin that it just sits in my hand really doesn't have anywhere to go. So this is gonna be my daily camera. This is my telephoto lens. We're doing a comparison of, you know, two um, more wider angle lenses, even though this is a 50 millimeter and a 18 millimeter, not really comparable, but they're two shorter lenses and two telephoto. So this is the 75 millimeter to 300 millimeter uh, Canon EF lens. You can pick these up for really cheap, about the same price as this one. Um, this one was a bit more expensive though. I picked this up for around five hundred dollars. I want to say it was so long ago, either five hundred or seven fifty, something in that price range. Picked this one up for two hundred. So this one is more expensive, but it is a lot older, so it's autofocus and stuff like that. is extremely comparable to this lens. However, that one obviously has held up over eight years. I'm really excited to see how this lens does over. The course of time and uh, when i do pick up more lenses if i'm going to keep this one so i've shot a couple photos on this and um yeah we're going to be doing a couple you know games here and we're going to be putting up two images so the one that you shouldn't be seeing on the left is going to be from a soccer game that i recently did those was a one over 800 um shutter speed iso at 3200 and at a f4 now, the photo on the left you're seeing right now is during golden hours, so obviously better lighting. Um, you have some nice, you know, reflections and colors from that motorcycle that was shot on a uh, telephoto lens as well. That was F4, trying to keep it the same. Again, at a lower ISO, so we're at 1600, so there's not going to be as much grain, but they're very similar. So let me know what you think is the better of the photo. Okay, so the one on the left that you saw of the soccer game was on the Canon EOS Rebel T7 with the 300mm lens. The one on the right was with this, with the 200mm lens, the Sony Neck 7 and the 200mm lens. Now, I don't know if you could see any of those differences being on a phone screen, which I'm assuming most of you guys are watching it on, but the one on the left on the Canon Rebel T7 was at night was during a soccer game again shooting at a super high shutter speed trying to get that iso to compensate um so you're gonna have more film grain in there and color noise however i think canon rebel t7 did a great job not doing professional i'm never claiming to be a professional photographer i'm an enthusiast and i think for me that photo completely instagram worthy send that to some players and they'll be happy with it this photo that you saw the motorcycle was actually a job that it did and I took this camera specifically because it was in my bag. And what I knew I wanted to do with 200 millimeter, um, and I wanted to get some higher quality glass out there. And I knew this camera could do it. That's why I took it. And I'm really happy with those photos. I would have been really happy with this um, camera also, the Rebel T7. And that was actually before I had the 50 millimeter lens. 
So if I did have the 50 millimeter lens, it would have been a really, really throw up of which one I would have taken. I would probably would have taken both and shot with both of them. So let's move on to some more photos. All right, now the one on the left you're seeing is of a car, my car, my Toyota Celica. Love that car. If you guys want to see any videos on that, I'm always modifying it. Let me know in the comments down below. The one on the right is also of my Toyota Celica. And they're both similar shots. They're kind of the same, but one is a little bit darker than the other. Now, I want you to tell me which one you like more in the comments down below. Pause this video and just think about it. Zoom in on it, screenshot it, whatever you got to do. Let me know which one you like. Alright, so the one on the left was again the Rebel T7. The one on the right was again the Sony Nex 7. So, if you can see in those photos, the dynamic range on the Rebel T7 was actually better than the Sony Nex 7. Now, I color graded them almost the exact same, honestly. I don't want to say that the Rebel T7 has a better... Um, has better colors um, and shooting in a raw format than the Sony does, but I feel like this um, Canon Rebel T7 did have more information that I can edit in um, in all the photos I've taken. I feel like I've had more room with my exposure, with my contrast, with my colors, and messing around with that in Adobe Lightroom than my Nex 7. Notice once I bring up my exposure um, past about halfway, uh, I get a lot of noise and just it doesn't look good on the next 7 but on the Rebel T7, I can really, really crank up that exposure and it retains a lot of detail and that sharpness while the next 7 gets a little bit softer. So, saw some photos of that. Um, the price points of these are very different, about $500 with a $200 lens, you're looking at $750 um, in total with, you know, a uh, nice quality SD cards. And those were actually the same SD cards um, in both of these cameras. So the next 7 came out at about $2,000 with the lenses, batteries, SD cards. Um, from my standpoint of shooting photography for a long time, I'm choosing the Canon Rebel T7. I like Canon's colors more than Sony. I've also gotten really used to this camera and it's newer technology. I don't want to say new, but it is newer than the next 7 even though I have updated this camera. I just feel like the interface is more simple, easier to use than this older Next 7. However, I do love both of these cameras and um, I'm really blessed to be able to have both of them. So guys, let me know what you would use, what you choose. Let me know what you guys shoot on and um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, hope you guys have a beautiful day and um, God bless y'all. Peace.